When your elbow is here, it has to go down and up. Go down and up. You're all going like this. When you go like this, there's no range. It causes the waist to be lost. Can you see it's like this? When you go like this, can you see, the, can you see I stretch my, way, my line? There's a stretch here. So, Steve, you look at my chest here and my head. Your elbow pushes this to the side. And to the extent that this actually goes with it, you have a little bit of this. Can you see this now? So when you are doing this, your elbow is okay. Then the elbow alone, it's doing this. Can you see? Your elbow is doing this. It's good. But this did not stay there. For it to stay there, you don't know it. But the reality is if you are staying there, the neck is being pulled up. Can you see here? <laughs> it's pulled up longer. If it's the same, it goes with it. It's the, once you have the eye for it, your body eventually will find it. Because if you can't see the difference, the difference is so minute. You can, uh, if you don't train your eyes for it, you, you really cannot tell the difference. But now, when you do that, the body is doing this. And here, now your, your elbow actually pulls this shoulder down. It's a plain piece of paper. Our problem is we're always twisting it like this. There is no twisting. And now you see it's twisted. Now you understand your hand is flat. And you put your fingers there flat. And what degree do you have to go? You rotate your elbow until your hand becomes tile hand. Tile hand means the front is locked, the back you start twisting, and that shape is tile hand. Now do you understand? So I suggest every single person, you need to physically go through that and do that. And get a piece, piece of a rod and hammer one end to be flat and stick it into a, 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 a space and it does not move. Then this side, if you put a, a hole in it and twist that rod, you'll see that the front of that flat part, just like your wrist in here, starts to twist. That's your tile hand. So the reason we have tile hand is because you are creating a twist. When your hand is like this, you see, Josh, we are always moving like this. There is no differentiation. So now, can you see, I'm moving my elbow. Oh. You see, I'm moving my elbow without my hand. And in the middle of my forearm, there is a twist in it. And I do a lot of that, and that twist becomes real. And I can feel that pivot all the time. It's totally real, but when I describe it to you, you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Do you understand now? So here, you see, if this is flat and I hold this end and twist, and there will be a twist right in the middle. And this is flat, this is round, so you cannot see it. If this is flat, you can see it. There's a twist in here. So now, Josh and everybody else, once you create that twist, that every move will make sense. Because of that, you have a twist in your arm, and that twist can... So one of the things that's very, very difficult in push hands is that your body, your arm, has to have a catch. If you continue, 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 and then with more even muscles, can you see you're creating the twist inside? And then go here, you're creating the twist, start to pull here. Otherwise, they are all together.